This is every leak for Friday's update. Now, similar to previous leak videos, everything talked about today has been leaked and rumored to release in Friday's update. However, like we've talked about previously, not everything you see today will 100% release on Friday. Some of these things may be saved for future updates, but nonetheless will release in LEGO Fortnite at some time. Now, the first leaked item that we have is an Illuminator charm. The description of this says it adds an aura of light in times of darkness, which means you no longer need to carry a torch in your inventory or in your offhand, and you no longer need to place campfires inside of caves in order to see around. We don't know exactly how this is going to light up your world or light up the area. However, it also is in the description that it does not stack with other carried light sources, meaning there is no additional benefit to having a torch while having this illuminator charm, which means it is 100% pointless to carry torches while having this charm on. Now, does that mean that this charm is going to be good, overpowered, or bad? We're not 100% sure yet. However, what we do know is that this does open up an inventory spot for us, which obviously helps when it comes to looting and farming. It also requires us to take less materials out as we don't need to make future torches and campfires. The only downside to this is depending on the rarity level, it may not give good defense or heart boost to our players. Now the next leaked item is called Forge. Now this is a crafting station for the processing of metals and was also described as a tier two upgrade to the metal smelter, but could now be a separate station for other metals. Now this isn't something that we've seen of or heard of yet in the game as anything new has just been added to the previous utilities that are in the game, but I have a few ideas as to what this could help with. Now in one of our first ever leak batches, we got a leak about upcoming materials that would be releasing, which is diamond, titanium, and dark wood. Now inside of this had a bunch of metal stations or stations that you could use these materials on in order to earn yourself something different. So example would be you could find titanium and throw that into a metal smelter to make yourself titanium bars. You also had diamond that could be thrown into the gem cutter and dark wood rods that could be thrown into the lumber mill. What I'm thinking and could be wrong is maybe we're getting our first look at titanium or diamond in this update, which is only going to be usable inside of this brand new utility called the forge. Now, the only thing that throws a curveball in all of this is that in order to make titanium, you also need dark wood rods. Now, dark wood rods would come from the dark forest biome, which we do not have in the game just yet. However, when it comes to things like the titanium forest axe, which is a legendary item, we've already seen legendary fish added into the game for the shore biome. So it's not unlikely that we'll get legendary items here here in the next few updates. The ingredients to make a titanium forest ax is 20 iron bars. Now, once you make that titanium forest ax, now you need that dark wood rod in order to make yourself a pickaxe. So you need to have dark wood in order to make some of the titanium items, which makes titanium pretty much useless unless you have the dark wood in the game, which would come directly from the dark forest biome. Do we know that we're getting the dark forest biome on Friday? Friday? Definitely not. I feel like if we knew that we were getting this, there would be more urgency in these leaks and more reveals from Epic, but we don't know just yet, but I wouldn't have high hopes for all of that yet. I've also leaked previously a catapult coming into the game. Now with this, they just updated the description to these, one being that you can sling your friends, the other being that you could use this to destroy things from a distance. Now, when it comes to the catapult dropping into the game, it would almost have very little use right now as there's not many scenarios where you would be using a catapult and it's worth using. However, in different mini games that they add into the game or having fun with your friends, this is a really solid addition to the game. Is it coming on Friday? We don't have 100% confirmation. However, them adding or updating the description to it just days prior to the update is definitely a good sign that we could expect 
expect this very soon. Now, another upcoming item that we have is a fish trophy display. Now, I don't know if this was intended to drop with the gone fishing. I don't know if this is an unlockable that we don't have just yet or if this is something they still haven't added into the game. But this is a fish trophy display where you can use your legendary items, your legendary fish to mount them on a wall like a decoration, which would be really nice for our beach houses and shore biome whenever this gets released. Now, next up is a leak of what our sets tab is going to look like in the locker very soon. You see that bottom tab that is called Lego sets. Now this was leaked to be added in for v28.30 which is the most recent update they just haven't published this so this is something that is currently a work in progress that they're working on getting out to us so it's very likely that we see this on friday but not 100 confirmed i've broken this down in a previous video however what this is going to end up being is it looks like we're going to get new builds added into the game and these lego sets can be purchased in the store to then change the color of the them. Similar to how you could have player skins, it's going to work the same with building skins. So maybe they add the dream set into the game. You could buy that Lego set inside of the store or have the default version that is inside of the game for the free players. So it looks like there should be a way for free players to build the same items as the paid players. However, paid players will just have different variations of all of the items. Now I talked about the catapult being really good for mini games and a bunch of other things in the game could be really good for mini games. However, it does look like Fortnite teased an exciting update for Unreal Editor for Fortnite on March 20th. So that's not this Friday, it's two weeks from now. However, a big update to Unreal Editor may mean the addition of Lego Fortnite. If you guys don't know what this is, people on PC can access Unreal Editor and create their own custom made maps and seeds. So then we could create these custom mini game modes that you guys can plug in on console or PC and play from those custom games, which would be absolutely awesome for Lego Fortnite, which is exactly what you saw Abby run and Raft Survival on. You could now do that as an individual player as well and have friends play on those maps. Now, the number one complaint is that we don't have a steering wheel yet. And I'm not saying that we are getting it, although I will say we haven't gotten any news or leaks about a steering wheel coming into the game in at least the last month. So outside of the steering and we'll make sure that you guys comment down one fix or one addition that we absolutely need in Lego Fortnite.